Hi everyone, this is Ben with Dream Factory. In this quick video, I'm gonna talk about PHP scripting, using server-side scripts with Dream Factory and coding them in PHP. So to start, I'm gonna actually cover two concepts in the video today. First is a concept called process event scripts. So you can basically attach scripting to any API endpoint in Dream Factory and then do things on both the request and the response of your API calls. Uh, and the second thing is custom scripting. So we'll cover quickly how you write custom APIs with Dream Factory using PHP. So let's get started. The first thing to follow along, you'll need to get a Dream Factory instance and make sure you have some APIs, for example, a database or something else that you want to write a script on. And then you'll head on over to the scripts tab here, and then you'll see a bunch of API endpoints. So at the parent level, you've got process event scripts, and then you'll see all of the APIs uh, that you've added in the services tab here. So in, th in this example, I'm going to traverse down to some API calls on a contact table. So here we'll just pick our API, we're going to head over to the table and then look at various uh, tables that are available. So just traverse, and you can click on any of these and you know head down or up the tree uh, interactively. So here I'm going to actually pick the post action. So we'll click on that, and then basically for every post call that's available on this particular database, you'll see. Uh, rows in, in the table here that you can then select. So what I'm going to do is just quickly show how you would add a PHP script on a pre-process, meaning uh, an API call that a request that's made, as well as in a post-process, meaning when an API call responds, uh, you want to do something like a workflow. A pre-process example is quite simple. Let's say we want to do a field validation. Basically, we'll go down to this endpoint on the contact table, and then we'll pick our scripting language of choice. Here it's PHP. Dream Factory also supports JavaScript, you know, Node.js, Python, and V8.js, which is a native JavaScript, multi-threaded JavaScript engine. Here we'll pick PHP. You can also upload a script. Uh, if you've already written your script and you just want to upload it, it'll, it'll uh, let you select it, and then it will get added here. And then make sure that your script is active before you save it. If you're not finished with it, you don't have to make it active. You can come back and finish your work later. And then you can also allow the script to modify the request, basically the request or the response. This is if, if your script is actually, actually manipulating and making changes to the request or the response, then you'll want to make sure that that is checked. This is related to how the system optimizes uh, for performance. So make sure that you check that if, if you're doing uh, modifications. So here what I'm going to do is just uh, write a little bit of PHP. This is a simple field validation script, so it's basically looking at the payload of the request. Uh, iterating through the records and then looking for a field called annual revenue. If that uh, field doesn't have a value, basically it's missing, it's null on the request, it's going to throw a simple exception. So this is PHP, it's uh, implemented on the server and stored in Dream Factory. It's actually stored in the database and then it runs, at runtime it runs when this API call is made on the request. So that's the pre-process. Post-process is similar. Of course, here we did all of the same things. We selected PHP, and uh, we just checked active and left this blank. We're not manipulating anything here like a JSON payload on the response. So here, this script is basically going to insert a record, and then common use cases that you want to do something afterwards. So here, we'll insert a record, and then we're actually going to spawn a push notification to uh, an SNS, an Amazon SNS push notification endpoint. Anyone subscribing to that SNS topic will then get notified uh, by, by email uh, or by push notification on the phone. Um, and that's about it. So to run all of these scripts, you don't really have to do anything. Dream Factory is PHP native, so you just write your code and it will run uh, without any additional configuration. Uh, so that's, in a nutshell, how event scripts work with PHP. Uh, the other thing I want to show quickly is the notion of cu uh, custom scripts. So this is the idea of building your own custom APIs. So here I'll show a quick example. We've got a, a simple calculator API that takes numbers and does math on them. Uh, and this is actually written in PHP. So you can add your API name, just put in a name, a label, and a descriptor, description of your API, make sure it's active. And then in the config section here, you can actually write source code. So here, you know, just make sure that you're uh, uh, selected the language that you want. When you create this, it'll give you a, the option to pick which programming language you want to use here. We've done PHP. You write your PHP code. And then optionally, you have the service definition. So this is basically a Swagger file that you can add. It's optional. You can add it because then it will get created in the API docs and uh, allow you to actually write other scripts on top of any of these endpoints. So you can write custom APIs, and then you can also attach event scripts to those API endpoints if you need to. 
as well. So once you've done that, what will happen is in the API docs, when you navigate over here, if you have put a Swagger definition and written your PHP code correctly to work, then you can actually click on this and then you'll see all of the endpoints and you can uh, interact with them. So that's about all there is to it. I encourage everyone to t take a look for more details and examples and tutorials. Head on over to the Dream Factory documentation. That's at wiki.dreamfactory.com. There are a number of tutorials, including server-side scripting, uh, with a number of uh, examples uh, available here. The ones that I showed today, field validation and the push notification workflow rule, as well as custom scripting with the math API, all of the code for all of that's here, and you can try it out in your own Dream Factory instance. So that's it for today. Hopefully that's helpful. Give everyone a quick primer on implementing APIs and event scripts with PHP in Dream Factory. Uh, to learn more, go to dreamfactory.com, uh, as well as check out our YouTube channel online. All of that is at www.dreamfactory.com resources. All right. Thanks a lot.